He is known for establishing the school of phenomenology and redefining phenomenology as a transcendental idealist philosophy. He is recognized for his critiques of historicism and psychologism in logic, as well as his development of the phenomenological reduction. His name is Edmund Gustav Albrecht Husserl. In the world of philosophy, one name stands out, Edmund Gustav Albrecht Husserl, an Austrian-German philosopher and mathematician who revolutionized the field with his groundbreaking ideas. From his early work, where he critiqued historicism and psychologism in logic, to his mature work, where he developed the concept of phenomenological reduction, Husserl's contributions were truly transformative. He argued that transcendental consciousness sets the limits of all possible knowledge, redefining phenomenology as a transcendental idealist philosophy. Husserl's journey began with his studies in mathematics under the guidance of esteemed professors such as Karl Weierstrass and Leo Königsberger. He also delved into philosophy, learning from the likes of Franz Brentano and Karl Stumpf. With this solid foundation, he embarked on a career as a philosopher, teaching at various universities. He started as a privatdozent at Halle in 1887, later becoming a professor at Göttingen in 1901, and finally settling at Freiburg in 1916 until his retirement in 1928. Even after retiring, Husserl remained highly productive, leaving an indelible mark on philosophy. However, Husserl's life took a tragic turn in 1933, when he was expelled from the library of the University of Freiburg and forced to resign from the Deutsche Academy under the racial laws of the Nazi party due to his Jewish family background. Despite these hardships, he continued to inspire and influence others until his passing in 1938. Edmund Gustav Albrecht Husserl's legacy lives on, as his ideas continue to shape contemporary philosophy and beyond, reminding us of the power of profound and innovative thinking. In the early 1900s, Husserl published his groundbreaking work, The Logisch unter Sechungen, which laid the foundation for his later developments in phenomenology. He realized that to study the structure of consciousness, one must distinguish between the act of consciousness and the phenomena it is directed towards. This led him to introduce the concept of epochy, where all assumptions about the existence of an external world are put aside in order to obtain knowledge of essences. Building upon these ideas, Husserl published the Ideen in 1913, incorporating his new conceptual elaborations. From this point onwards, he focused on exploring the ideal and essential structures of consciousness. Unlike traditional metaphysics, Husserl was less concerned with establishing the reality of what we perceive separate from the perceiving subject. Instead, he proposed a phenomenological approach that examined how we constitute objects through our intentional directedness towards them. Husserl challenged the notion of objects as simply external entities and emphasized the perceptual and functional aspects that shape our understanding of them. He argued that the belief in the reality of objects should be bracketed, meaning it should be seen as a way of regarding objects rather than an inherent property of their essence. Phenomenology aimed to identify the invariant features of how objects are perceived and recognized the role of attributions of reality as being about our perceptions rather than the objects themselves. In his later works, Husserl delved into the complexities of intersubjectivity in communication about objects. He grappled with how to ensure that references to the same ideal entity could be assumed in these interactions. Additionally, he sought to explain the significance of phenomenology in scientific inquiry and the importance of bracketing the natural attitude. Husserl's unfinished work, The Crisis of the European Sciences, addressed these issues and presented a historical overview of Western philosophy and science. He highlighted the challenges posed by the increasing empirical and naturalistic orientation of these disciplines. Husserl argued for the establishment of a scientific foundation for the study of the mind, asserting that mental and spiritual reality have their own independent existence and should be approached with the same rigor as the natural sciences. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.